uh, boss member for Wasingishu. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to comment on the petition by the Honorable Member. Um, I, in as much as I do support the interrogation of any matters in the country that, affect, that is, uh, affects members of the public by this House, it's also important that this House should concentrate on the places where the problem lies. If there is a question as to the safety of Skyward Express or any other uh, airline in this country, then the first place of call should be the Civil Aviation Act. This is the primary legislation that is the backbone of Kenya's aviation legal framework. It empowers the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority to issue licenses and permits for aircraft operation in Kenya. It also deals with regulation and maintenance and inspection procedures and enforces compliance with those safety standards. So I think it would be myopic if the committee, when this matter comes before it, just focuses on one particular airline. Because the things that we can say of Skyward has been pointed out in the petition, we can say of Kenya Airways, we can say of many other airlines. So we should be asking ourselves, is our regulatory framework and licensing framework... Please give her two more minutes. Uh, please, uh, so, in me. fact, I understand what the member for Garissa Township was trying to say. You are saying let's not pick out one particular aircraft, but let us go to the source of the problem, which is who is licensing? What is the aviation licensing policy? What are the rules on aviation? And we should, the people, we, the buck should stop is the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. They are the ones who should be the first people to be summoned. Thank you very much, uh, Member for Wasingishu. The Honorable Pauline Lengurus, Member for Samburu. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me the chance to stand up and support the motion. I support the